In 1868, Bavarian King Ludwig II had a dream come true in Algar, southern Germany. Castle Neuschwanstein, the realization of his amazing world of fantasy. Situated close to Castle Hochschwangau, where as a child the king had immersed himself in German mythology. The castle is set on a rock above Polat Schlucht. This fairy tale castle was 17 years in construction and in every way the idyll of ancient German knighthood. A union of both castle and its surroundings. On the third floor of the palace, a fine entrance hall leads to the splendid royal apartments. Along an exquisitely curtained corridor, there are beautifully decorated stone pillars and a carved oak ceiling. This is where the king's adjutant resided. It even contained one of the first telephones. Next, the king's office. Shining oak and marvellous scenes from Tannhauser frame the precious desk. Situated between the office and living room was a fanciful feature, an artificial cave with a tiny waterfall. Glass doors bearing swan motifs lead to a small winter garden. The living room features the entire picture gallery of the Swan Knight Lohengrin. The swan motif appears in many forms, as gold embroidery on silk covers and curtains and as carvings on the fine wooden walls. Due to the operas of composer Richard Wagner, Ludwig discovered the delights of the Middle Ages, and theatrical artists created for him this fairy tale world. The dining room is full of paintings that depict scenes from Wartburg at the time of the legendary Singer War. The center of the room is dominated by a massive tabletop made of gilded bronze. Siegfried and his fight with the dragon, good against evil. In sight of these images of minstrels and noble characters, the royal food was served. The fully preserved kitchen lies three floors down within a mighty vault. There was hot and cold water, various stoves, and hot air roasting spits. In his bedchamber, the lonely king also showed his special love of pageantry. Here too, swans are present everywhere, surrounded by neo-Gothic decor. The room has a bay window, vanity unit with running water, plus a large fireplace that contains the figures of Tristan and Isolde. Fourteen woodcarvers worked here for more than four years. A small chapel is accessible from the bedroom. The altarpiece depicts the canonized King Ludwig IX of France, flanked by angels. Mm. 
The Throne Hall is a most magnificent and impressive room. It is two stories high with lateral rows of columns and a gilded apse which is reminiscent of the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul. A precious candelabra in the form of a Byzantine crown in gilt brass hangs from the bright blue firmament of the dome. This wonderful chandelier is meant to act as mediator between God and man. It's adorned with glass stones and 96 candles and weighs 900 kilograms. A tower stairway connects each floor and ends in a marble palm that extends into a star-filled sky guarded by a stone dragon. This is the entrance hall to the fourth floor. The wall paintings depict the Sigurd saga. And small doors lead to narrow arcades which frame the upper throne hall. From above the apse, both chandeliers and floor mosaics can be seen in all their glory. Leading to the last great hall, is a gallery corridor with murals, an ornate wooden ceiling and views of the hall. Here the walls contain images of the legendary Holy Grail. In the king's apartment the images are on fabric. The monumental Singer Hall is the castle's largest and most important room. It was built for the operas of Richard Wagner. The tall, wooden, coffered ceiling features numerous images as well as the signs of the zodiac. The ballroom of the Wartburg is full of motifs of Parzival, Lohengrin and King Arthur at his round table. King Ludwig's fantasies were transformed into amazing reality. And he increasingly identified himself with Parzival, that medieval legendary figure who, due to purity and faith, became the Grail King. This absorbed vast amounts of money and created massive royal debts that finally resulted in tragedy. During the night of June the 12th, 1886, Ludwig II was arrested, declared deposed and taken to Castle Berg.